Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is my complete guide to the Axe Edge Editor, part two. Tap on part. The top section here, to the right of the word select, has four icons, named part one, part two, part three, and part four. Tap on one of the icons to select that part. Here, only part one is written in blue, which means only part one is switched on. See my Axe Editor Complete Tutorial Part 1 to see how to turn on or off the four parts. Here I have selected Part 1, so the Part 1 icon has turned red. The next section is the Tone section. The text box below the word Tone shows the currently selected sound tone of the part. Tap on List to the right of the text box to choose a different sound tone. Press your finger on the screen and drag up or down the screen to scroll through all the different sound tones. Then tap on a tone from the list to load that tone into the currently selected sound patch on your Axe Edge. You can now play the Axe Edge to hear that sound tone. Tap on List again. At the top of the list is a drop list to the right of the words Tone Bank. Tap on the drop list. Then tap on User. This is the list of available slots for saving the tones you have edited. This is also where you save any Xenology Pack tones that you buy. Now tap on the list box again and tap on Preset. This returns to the built-in Axe Edge Tones list. Tap on Cancel if you don't want to change the current preset. At this point any changes you have made to the Axe Edge sound patch have not been saved, so changing the sound patch on the Axe Edge will delete any changes from the Axe Edge sound patch. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.